What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over how you can get uh, the Blazing Bash Naruto and Blazing Bash Sasuke without uh, doing SS rank. Now I know a lot of people were kind of mad, a lot of people were kind of hurt that uh, you couldn't get them unless it was SS rank. Now if you want to know why that is, if you guys remember, uh, you can't get 6 stars on A and S rank. You only get 6 star units on SS rank. These units are not 5 and 6 stars. It's a six star and then a blazing bash unit, right? So the you know easy answer would be you can't get six stars on A and S rank. That's why it's only for SS rank. But they they thought of this, so there's a way for you to get them without that. Now, if you go right here to the um, ninja trials or whatever, if you go right here to the ninja trials and you go to the limited ninja trials, scroll down right here. It shows that, uh, like, if you do SS rank five times, you get this Naruto. Is it five times? Yeah, if you do SS rank five times, you get this Naruto. Or S rank five times, excuse me, you get this Naruto. If you do um, S rank or A rank ten times, you get this Naruto. Which um, I think I already did. A did I? I don't think I did. Yo, I'm tripping. All right, so if you do A rank ten times, you get Naruto. If you do S rank five times, you get Naruto. Same thing for Sasuke. If you do Sasuke... Um, 10 times you get them on a rank and then if you do sasuke five times on s rank you get them and um i'm pretty sure there's you can get more than just these four copies but um yeah i think it's a really cool thing that they added into the game seeing as um they knew this event was going to be hard they knew a lot of people were going to be able to do ss rank but a rank and s rank are not that hard they're like really really easy to do so it's quite understandable why they went this route. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be mad about it. I know a lot of people are going to feel some type of way about it. And I mean, I, I get it. I understand. But at the end of the day, guys, like, you, you got to understand, like, you, you can't be mad that they did it that way. So um, I don't think the missions are up right now. But um, we're going to go ahead and see. Uh, oh, I turned my overlay off. Oop. I, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and... Um, like, so yeah. Um, yeah, so, okay, well, they're not out right now, so I can't really do anything. But anyways, uh, yeah, so... Um, honestly, if you guys want to, just focus on A and S rank. Because A and S rank, you're allowed to... Um, you're allowed to uh, get limit break crystals. You're allowed to get the awakening medals. You're allowed to get all of that stuff on A and S rank for Naruto and Sasuke. So SS rank isn't necessarily a necessity. Now I know a lot of people want to get them to um, 150, but um, you might just have to farm 73 crystals instead of getting the six star crystals. You might just have to do the um, uh, the five star crystals and farm 73 of them. And that sucks. I get it. But at least you're able to get the units. I know a lot of people were worried about they weren't going to be able to get the units. Me included. But this way, you'll, you'll be able to do that. Now, um, I haven't even done the S... I haven't done any Sasuke, right? I ended up being SS rank on Naruto uh, with my four Sasuke... Um, my four Sasuke team that I had. Uh, it's very difficult. I might make a tutorial if I learn how to do it correctly. Um, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, so, uh, anyways, short video, I just wanted to tell you guys that that's how you can do it and everything like that, that's gonna be it for this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, tell me, telling me, comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time, peace.